Welcome to this week's demo of ArcLight. We have some features to show you here. Um, the first one is auto completion. So in the main search bar, if you just start typing, you'll get a, a list of, of titles and um, subjects and those sorts of things that match your, your, um, your typing. So, and it's, it's context sensitive, so the, um, the, the matches don't necessarily have to be at the beginning. They're, they could be anywhere in the title. Instance. There's also a fielded search now. So if we do want to restrict your search to the title or to someone's name or place or so forth, then you can do that. So like if I search for a place and I search for island, it'll give me um, a finding aid that is in that region. So the other thing that we've done is we've added a date histogram at the top here. So what this shows is that we've got, I'm looking at 10 collections, and this is the date range for all 10 of those collections. So and you can see the, the histogram here, and you can show or hide this as you wish. So if I, if I go ahead and I search for, uh, let's see, the one that I know that has online content is photographic album. Oops, I'm faceted on collection here. So here's photograph album. This is a component. And we have the ability to view that component. And this is, in particular, is a photographic album. It has various pages. And you can go in and look at the various imagery. So this is another example of that same collection, which has digital objects associated with a component. This time, we'll show you an example of ArcLight configured with a viewer application. So we're going to navigate to the same component. And here, you can see that since we have a viewer application configured within ArcLight, that's bringing in this object. In this case, the object complies with the O-Embed specification, which is a generalized specification used by Stanford University, as well as another, a number of other platforms to be able to publish and share digital objects online easily. As you can see, this is the same viewer experience that we would be seeing in the application if we clicked the online link below. So again, I'm going to click the object viewer and you can see again that you will have the same experience. The other thing that we have is breadcrumbs for navigation. So these are now on all of our show pages. You can see here you can go to the home or to the list of collections or to this particular finding aid. And you'll know that the context here is you're at this photographic album. So if I go to the collection, the, you also have that same breadcrumb here. And let's see. So also for um, in the repositories, we now have the uh, updated number of collections that are in that particular repository. So you can see we've got uh, one that has one and one that has four and so forth. So we've also done quite a bit of styling work this time. Um, see, if we go into the contents, you can see we've got a new type of navigation here. Before it was sort of more, uh, there's pluses and minuses over here. Now you've got a view over here on the, on the, on the right hand side. And we've done quite a bit of work on the styling in general um, that isn't demoable but it's in progress. Um, and I guess lastly, we have a, an addition, we have, a, we have 10 collections worth of content in the demo site. And that's up from a handful, I guess, last time. So we've added new content to the demo site. 
And if you look, we have, just do a search for everything. You'll see we have almost 5,000 components in there now. So that's it for the, for the demo this week. Uh, tune in next week for more features.